My name is Doug Boyd. I direct the Louis B. Nunn Center for Oral History at the University of Kentucky Libraries. Oral History in the Digital Age is a grant-funded project funded by the IMLS uh, to establish best practices for oral history in the digital age. What does that mean? What we've done is we've brought together partners, Michigan State University's Matrix Center, the Library of Congress, the Smithsonian, uh, the American Folklore Society, the Oral History Association, bringing experts together from a variety of fields to explore what is the best way to collect, to curate, and to distribute oral history with a special emphasis on technology. Oral history really is, is somewhat unique in the sense that the demographic that it represents is, is vast. The, the range of institutions, uh, the range of individuals who do it is incredible. The budgets go from you know, a few dollars all the way up to millions of dollars. And so we're really trying to shape this best practices initiative in a way that, that it, it takes on a, a, a usefulness for the smallest county historical society all the way up to major foundations who are trying to, to do major projects. And, and that's a really strong point of, of this particular project, I think. Your traditional best practices uh, is usually a document, and it's usually a document prepared by a very small community, and it's usually a document that's prepared for a small community um, about something extremely specific. And what this is doing is bringing together uh, an enormous community that, that of, of people who record interviews, who do, conduct the interviews, the community of uh, curators and preservationists who are in charge of taking care of this material, as well as, as, as the folks who are, are, are figuring out cool ways to, to, to put it online and to, to get it out to the world. And so that is something that makes this project somewhat unique, is, is the wide audience that it, it serves. Uh, it also includes special emphasis on librarians, archivists, and museums. The IMLS, the Institute for Museum and Library Services, funded this project. Uh, and it really was an effort to, to explore the way that libraries and museums uh, create and take care of and, and serve up oral history interviews. Oral historians is, is a very broad term. Uh, it could be professional historians, but it could also be community historians. It could be teachers uh, running a classroom project. It could be uh, community leaders um, documenting a particular community. It could really be a corporation documenting its own history. And so, again, we're talking about a very wide-ranging topic. We're talking about a very wide-ranging uh, group of practitioners that has also been one of the challenges in terms of trying to formalize some of the standards and, and to encourage different people to do things on a more professional level. And that's what this project really tries to do, is to acknowledge the differences and celebrate the differences of, of budgets and, and the differences of professional backgrounds and really channel those differences and try to, to strive to uh, create models for people to follow and, and not necessarily uh, tell them what they're doing wrong but to, to, to really provide models for, for how they could raise or elevate uh, the way that they do oral history. Your traditional model for best practices is, is usually a document. Now it's usually a PDF that somebody downloads. And I think that that sort of document approach tends to, to, to create a sort of very linear approach to best practices. And what we're trying to do with this is there will be a document, of course. But we're trying to, to have a document, a website, uh, and these, these series of videos uh, to come together and sort of humanize best practices and acknowledge that, that uh, some of these best practices are moving. And they're moving targets. And, and so bringing together the individuals and featuring the individuals who are at the forefront of, of this movement and the forefront of these changes that are happening in a very dramatically rapid fashion. Uh, it's pretty exciting to, to, to see that all come together.